Okay, so we're back with Brutus, right? <laughs> yes. How are you feeling, Brutus? It's very painful, but I feel better. Yeah. Are you able to move your index finger at all? Uh, I don't even want to try. Yeah. A See, little. We've got some drainage coming out there. That's some pus. And uh, so that's a sign that uh, we may be, you know, increased risk for an abscess now. And you're taking your antibiotics, you said. Absolutely. And how's your pain? Um, on average, about a five out of ten. It's it's quite right okay. at the spot, very painful. And you tried the tramadol, and that didn't help that much, did it? It helped, but made me very sick. Oh, but it made you sick. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, okay. made me very, very sick. All right, so we're still going to be real aggressive with this. This is just a little follow-up pick. This just shows everybody how dangerous a cat bite can be, because we're still not out of the woods on this. Yep. All right. So you have uh, you have an appointment with infectious disease coming up, right? Yep. Okay. So we're going to keep that, and we're going to need to do X-ray soon and check for osteomyelitis. And there's still the concern now for a uh, septic joint. We didn't mention that in the last video. So we're going to be on antibiotics for a while longer and continue to follow up closely with this. Thanks for letting us uh, do a follow up. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. We're going again, folks. We're back here with Brutus. And you can't see her face, but I'm going to tell you right now, she's got a big smile. Things are doing better, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Now, wiggle your, wiggle your index finger. Getting a little better there, too. Mm -hmm. Now, I notice you still have a little redness in that area there, but it's, it's really significantly better. Can you feel the tip of your finger okay? Yes. The sensation seems normal? Yes, it is a little numb in throughout the joint. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a numb finger. No, definitely okay. not. Good. Has it has it been draining anymore? Not so much. Not for a couple of days now. I think you're really responding well to that uh, augmentin. Good. Well, we wanted to get a follow up. I think you're doing so well. This will probably be our last follow up. Everybody's kind of been wanting to know how Brutus did and how things are. So, I think we'll wrap this up now, unless we have you know you know something change. But I doubt that'll happen. I think you're doing great. Just finish up those antibiotics. How about pain? Are you having a lot of pain still? It's or? so much better. It's a yeah. lot better. It's significantly better. Yeah, it's almost a one, maybe. It's it's really not even pain. It's just a tingling sensation. Yeah. How many days out are we now? Um, uh, seven, I believe. It's no, a little no, over. excuse me. Is it two me. weeks? No, no, we're 10 days now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I thought it was Friday. Right. right. Yeah. Yes, last Friday. Okay, so 10 days out from a cat bite that got down, I think it probably you know, got deep around a tendon there. Mm -hmm. So I think you're healing up just fine. So, um, good work. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Get well. Bye. Yeah, Michigan. Mm. All yeah. right. A Michigander. Let's find out what. Right. What's today? It's uh, New Year's Eve. New Year's, New Year's Eve. Eve. And yeah. we have to work. Hey, well, we got to wear jeans. Thank you, boss. <laughs> I'm already getting yelled at for not telling everybody, supposedly. Mm. Well, let's see. Here goes Michelob. Better watch out, Michelob. You don't want to get on camera. <laughs> I was nice enough to text her. I want to get the full effect. <laughs> wow, look at that. Looks like some good stuff right there. Mac Mac Fudge Shop? Yes. Hey, hey. awesome. Nice. Okay, seriously. I'm having some trouble here. There it goes. Should I open one? Why not? To see what it is. How does it look? See if it's really fudge. Yeah, hopefully it's not a bomb. It is oh, fudge. Oh, look at that. Oh, ma! What are you guys doing oh, in here? Oh, look who we have here! Who just came in? Hi! <laughs> we I'm got, here! We got, a, uh, we, we got a care package from John Ball. No. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, John Ball, Dearborn, Michigan. Oh, that look at that. so good. Yes. Oh, let me smell. Yeah. Oh, that's that's awesome. Okay. Bye. We might we'll be having it. some of that for lunch. We yeah. don't have lunch, so this will be our lunch today. Hey, I brought my soup. And it's today's weigh-in day. <laughs> I know. Thanks, John. We appreciate it. Hey, guys. I'm here with uh, our patient, Axis. We're going to call him Axis because he's a deer hunter, and he's going uh, hunting this weekend. He's going to shoot at some Axis deer, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to treat. You have some warts on your fingers here. We're going to treat. Uh, we've already used the pedophilin. We already tried the uh, the gel. Did you get the gel or was it the solution? The solution. The solution. And you used it for the three cycles, um, you know, three days on, four days off, not three cycles, but weekly cycles, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, 
Did that several times and just no success, huh? Correct. All right. You know what I want to do? I want to try. We have this new macro lens. I want to get a close up on these for everybody. So I'm going to stop for a second and put on the other lens. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's fairly disgusting looking. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it Let's try another one, the big yeah. one there. Yeah. Ooh. That is awful looking. Yeah. That's what a wart looks up nice and up close. All right, we'll take this off. I thought that'd be fun to look at. Lens. Ready? Okay. Oh, you want to use the uh, tripod? No. Okay, go. You go on. You know, we're not going to use the tripod because this is a pretty quick procedure. This is, again, this is Axis, and he's got some common warts here. We did a little close up on these, so we're going to freeze them. And, uh, well, are you ready? I guess. All right. <laughs> Don't cry. And. Don't cry. Don't cry. He's not crying. He's not crying. He's uh he didn't watch any of the football games this weekend. Gonzo, did you watch any games? No. No. I want to go eat at Fadi's. What else you got? You got another and, one? Uh, that little Teeny tiny one right there. Right there. Hold that camera still, little Gonzo. Yeah. I did not watch a single down of any football games this weekend. So to recap, today's the 25th of January. Yesterday, the Broncos beat the Patriots and the Panthers beat the Cardinals. So I'm going to now announce my pick so all of you out there can go place your bets. Straight up win, Carolina is going to beat Denver. That's my prediction. I think so. You think so too? Yeah. Axis I'm going to so. your face. I was about to turn it and change our mind. Yeah, we, yeah. All right, let's, let's stop for a minute. We're going to let those thaw, and then we'll freeze them again. All right. So to answer your question, you just asked a question um, before we were uh, filming, you know, what, what happens with these. These will get angry and red, and they'll, they'll swell a little bit, and then they'll sort of dry up, and they should peel off. Now, here's the problem with, uh, with these warts. Are you ready for another treatment? Yep. Sometimes... Sometimes these dudes are a lot deeper than you think they are, okay? Which may be why, I know that stung, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it almost kicked me. The, uh, it is probably the reason why these did not just, uh, they didn't just go away with the podophyllin treatment, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, which is an antiviral therapy. Now, typically speaking, the reason why some people get warts and some people don't, and we're all susceptible to getting these when we're young, but at, for most of us, at some point, uh, our immune system turns on and it just eliminates these, okay? The body, the body is not recognizing these warts as being foreign tissue because they're not completely foreign, right? They're just changed by the virus. So your body's immune system hasn't caught on that, hey, we don't want these things. But eventually it will and you'll stop getting them. Okay. Sometimes the act of freezing them is enough to, to generate an immune response. Sometimes... Uh, just treating them with something, just continuing to apply something is enough to do it. But uh, in your case, even though we use the medicine, uh, they're still there. So hopefully this will work. If they, if it's not completely gone in a couple of weeks, then next time I see you, we'll do another treatment. They'll okay. be a lot smaller then too. Gonzo, any questions? Can I go home? No. And who are you? Who are you rooting for in the big game? I guess the same people you are. Carolina. Yes. All right. Good deal. Thanks, bud. We yeah. appreciate it. Oh, you Snoopy. Is that okay? Yeah, that's all right. Mr. Snoopy, are you okay if we video your procedure for YouTube and the yeah. entire internet and everybody in the world to see? Absolutely. And we have Dr. Gonzo today. Only charge thousand an hour. That's fine. You can just uh, <laughs> send the bill. All right. Dr. So Gonzo is going to try to take some stitches out. What happened to his down. fingers? Yeah, what did happen? You have to tell us the story. Well, putting, your, putting your hand in other people's business, weren't you? I smashed them. You smashed them? How'd you do that? A couple pieces of metal. Oh. Well, you're doing something that your wife told you not to do and you still did it anyways. Probably. Look at that. Little Gonzo. I she thought I suppose I'm old and I'm supposed to do anything. Not to do it. And he did it. <laughs> well, you showed him. What? Oh, no. oh, what do you mean? What's this how men are right. thing? What's going hey. on back there? Don't be man bashing in here. No. Hey, you don't. Uh, doing something all the time. Look at her take those stitches out. I'm going to take those off for right now. Hey, doing the camera can be fun too. It is fun. Hey, we run out of film. <laughs> well, we have run out of memory before. That we have. It's not fun. Alrighty. Don't you flake can, me you can off look either. Look on the camera and see what see what happened. See what's happening there. Yeah. So.
so you were uh, we're doing some metal work, huh? Well, I was unloading this whole thing out of the back oh. of the pickup truck, mm -hmm. and it slipped down. It was metal in the back of the pickup truck. Yeah. And it smashed it together, and what a smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. What's, but what was, you know, everybody screws up now and then. Well, I've heard, <laughs> that. I've heard that. So what was the metal for? A dolly. Yeah, a dolly. That's what it was. It was it a steel dolly? Yeah. Okay. Well, how old a fella are you, Mr. Snoopy? He's 15. Hansel. <laughs> You can't ask for that. Nobody's age. That's. I can too. Well, you can, I'm but the you nurse. Sh so since I'm the nurse on this job, I can ask age and demographic. <laughs> okay. Have a little trouble getting that finger. Get him to bend it for you. There. Yeah. Come on, go. What are you? I can't see a thing. There it is. Can I get the last two on this one? She's doing pretty good for a visually impaired person who's not wearing her glasses, isn't I she? I know. I forgot my glasses and my contacts. Yeah. Good thing she's far-sighted. Mm. Or is it nearsighted? Which one are you? I'm nearsighted. Right. Look at that. Okay. That's pretty That's well cool. healed right there. One we'll finger down. A, one finger down, one to go. I think what we'll do is we'll just put a bandage on that when, he's, when you're done. That looks like it's healed real well. Looks like you had a good doctor. And this yeah. is healed very well. Okay, let's yeah, get the yeah, next one. He was, uh, he was fun. He was, was fun. He? Very calm. Yeah, cool. there's stitches under those stitches down inside. Too. He had some deep well, stitches. Well, then that one there, there's some, there's some deep I think ones. those are going to mm -hmm. fall on their own, though. Yeah, you said those would, those would absorb. Right, them, right. They just melt sometimes, usually. Gonzo, what are you doing this weekend? Celebrating Mr. Gonzo's achievement. That's right, he graduated. What, what, you don't like me being close or something? No, like that not... breath? What's the deal? Ooh. I was trying to move my hand. This one opened up the, the wound. That's okay, take it out, we'll dress it up. Okay. When you, that particular wound is right across the crease of the, the, the finger joint there, so that's mm -hmm. something that can happen, but underlying it's okay. And we'll put a bandage on there. You'll do just fine with that. Yeah, it's only been six days. Ooh, I got two in one. You did good. Yeah. Did you put any Neosporin or any ointments on that? Triple antibody, three yeah. times a day. Three times a day. Washed with antibacterial. Yeah. That could be part of the reason why this one didn't heal very well. Why? Well, sometimes when you put ointment on it like that, it works its way down into the wound and it prevents healing. Oh. But we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to steri strip this one for you. This one you're healed. We're going to do dressings on it. Okay. It's okay. This one we need to steri strip that. Yeah, see, this one here did not heal very well. So we're going to go ahead and use a little tincture of benzoin. This is, uh, this is the sticky stuff. What does that do? It's sticky. It's going to make your fingers sticky. So these little strips here will hold on better. It's got kind of an unusual I odor. I got some stuff I want to glue at the house. Does that work? You want to use some duct tape or something instead? I was going to do that on these, but she made me go to the doctor. Well, that's the way women are. They're going to make you get the kind of help you ought to get because they love you. And they know how hard-headed and stupid men can be. Yeah, but I had other, I had other, things, I had other <laughs> things I needed to do. Well, you're still going to be able to do some of those things. Don't don't move. Please. There you go. So what were you saying earlier? My nurse should have only got these, right? Yeah. Well, you the, just wanted to your nurse tools. didn't know where they were. And I don't think your <laughs> expertise is in uh This would have been fun to do. I've never done these. Well, we'll have to teach you how to do them. Yes, you It looks like pretty simple. It does look pretty simple, by the way. That's only good. <laughs> if, you, if you could turn your hand back over, I'd get this last one on for you. <laughs> don't jab me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to jab you. Don't worry. There you go. It's nice. 
Now we're gonna put a little dressing over this and I want you just to leave it alone for a few days. These strips themselves, ladies, you do not have to remove. These will fall off on their own, okay? No more antibiotic ointments, no more in dry. Just clean and dries all I'm asking. And, and, and you know what? Uh, if you wanna take the dressing off while you take a shower or something, that's fine. Just don't scrub on the hand or anything yeah. like that, okay? Yeah. All right. You did great, man. Thanks for letting us video. Okay, You're a pal, good. Snoopy. Yeah. The other All right. Closed up good enough. The other one's fine. We can just put a bandage over it. This that one just needed... That was so deep. Yeah. Um, this one was probably tender, and he, you probably weren't as aggressive with it. It was nah, a little tender, though. Yeah. Was... Hey, folks. You spoke, and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta 7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing, I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day, I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day, it makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it, it's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Are your nails and skin looking dry from the summer heat? Does your hair seem brittle and unhealthy? Well, maybe it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. Coco Skin Plus is a custom blend designed specifically by Dr. Gilmore to restore your hair's shine, protect your skin from the elements, and make your nails strong and healthy. Let's hear from a few of Dr. G's fans. I started taking Cocoa Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. I don't know if you want to zoom in. My nails have definitely gotten stronger. And finally, my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. Now available on Amazon with a dramatic price cut, Cocoa Skin Plus is only 50 cents a day. So stop waiting, order now, and experience the results you've always wanted. There's an Amazon link in the description.